Today you're gonna learn how to draw a cat, but it's going to look nothing like this one. So to draw a cat, you're gonna need a pen and also a good drawing paper, pencil and eraser, and maybe a white gel pen, which is optional, but it just makes everything easier and it's going to make so much sense in the end. As usual, for anything we want to draw, we start with the geometrical shapes to position things on the space. So I'm going to draw three circles like this. It's almost like I'm drawing a snowman. So the bottom circle is a little bit larger than the other two. And now for the sides of the second circle, you can draw these lines coming down on an angle like this. And these will be the front legs of your cat. I did sketch the ears right here, but ignore this because I'm gonna draw it better in a little bit. And now you can connect the second and third circles like this with this curved line to make the cat a little bit more round and fluffy and you know we don't want a super skinny cat we want like a cute round cat and the tail will be coming from the bottom circle like this and covering the front paws not because we are avoiding to draw the paws okay guys we are not cheating and just avoiding stuff but this is what my reference picture looks like so this is what we're gonna do so now let's work on the head a little bit this cat's going to be facing front looking straight at you. So I always like to draw a straight line that divides the head in half, both vertically and horizontally. In this case, the head is going to be tilted a little bit to the side. That's why my line is not completely straight. So you basically kind of follow the position you want for the head. This horizontal line is actually marking the top of the eyes. So you can draw two little circles like this right underneath this horizontal line. I'm also gonna draw this little upside down triangle a little bit below. It's basically like halfway from the center of the face to the bottom of the face. And the mouth will be again halfway from the nose to the bottom of the face. The ears are kind of annoying to draw. I always draw them in the wrong position. So I'm going to teach you a little trick to draw them in the right spot. You're gonna mark two lines that go from the side of the eyes up like this, and then another horizontal line that's gonna be like halfway from the center of the face to the top of the face. And these intersection points is where the ears should start from. Another trick to make your drawing look more 3D and less flat and just more realistic is to draw the shorter lines as the back of the ears like this and then connect them with the curve of the top of the head. A great tip I have for you that serves for any any other tutorial if you're working on a table lift your paper from the table a little bit to make sure that the proportions are right and everything is making sense because when you're drawing on a table you're seeing the drawing on an angle and then sometimes when you lift the paper you might notice that like things are tilted to one side and it's just like things are a little bit off and you can fix that before using the pen I totally noticed that my proportions they were looking good when the paper was flat on the table but when I lifted I noticed that like the eyes were not aligned so much and you know just you can fix little things here and there that you see that could be better so this makes a huge difference trust me honestly if you can invest on a desk or like an attachment to your desk where you can draw on an angle that's going to be so much better for you but since i'm filming like it's just easier to do this on a table so that's why i'm doing it on a table for you guys another thing i'm gonna do that you're gonna see like it's going to help us create the fur effect and like make it more realistic is to create some patterns on the fur this is again totally optional you can just do a cat that's just like one tone but i think it's gonna look cool so i'm drawing some stripes on the cat and if you're copying what i'm doing just make sure that the stripes form like a v shape on the top of the front legs and you're not just drawing horizontal stripes all the way because then your cat's just not gonna look realistic it's just gonna look really flat so just make sure that the stripes follow the curves of the body now it's time to get our amazing pen which i'm going to be using a fine line 005 in Ink pen but you can use any pen for this just make sure the tip is thin enough so you can get all the details in usually if you use a pen with a thinner tip like a 003 or a 005 your drawing will be like a little bit more time consuming but it's going to end up more realistic and it just all depends on your style and what result you want to get with your drawing but this is a thing for you to have in mind because this has nothing to do with drawing skills sometimes you're just working with the wrong materials right so now that we're using the pen and notice that we are not outlining everything because we're going to create the fur in a little bit. So I just want you to outline the eyes, the bottom of the nose and the mouth. 
And now for the body and the fur, we're going to hatch just a little bit to mark the stripes, legs, and the tail. We're not contouring them, if that makes sense. And if you're not familiar with hatching, all you have to do is do like this fast movement like this, lifting the pen from the paper in the end of the movement. So since we're drawing each little hair of the fur, which I know sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's not that bad once you get the hang of it. But basically, the lines are going to move from top to bottom like this. And you're going to see that they are not straight down. They're going to be on an angle depending where the hair is. So on the right side of the cat, the hatching is tilted to the right. And on the left side, the hair is tilted to the left, like I'm doing. I also started with the stripes because they are going to be darker than the rest of the cat. So it's okay to do this fast and not worry too much in being too neat with your lines. It's okay if they're not perfect because we're going to make them look better and more realistic when we add the shadow. So now just like do a bunch of hatching just to mark where where everything is um, you can make the stripes a little bit darker so you're gonna add a little bit more lines on the stripes and here again we're just making the patterns and the contour of the cat so we can erase the pencil marks right and always try to keep in mind what a real cat looks like so the fur grows from the skin out so if you're ever confused and not sure like what direction to hatch remember that the line should be moving out from the cat if that makes sense you can always look for references as well that helps a lot especially when you're not too familiar with the thing that you're drawing so if you never drew a cat before of course it's going to be difficult and you might not know what to do and maybe there's questions you're gonna have that i might not answer in this video so you can of course feel free to ask in the comments and i will gladly answer but it's always great to use reference pictures to support your drawing ideas and honestly this is how i learned how to draw guys just copying stuff copy 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 until you're confident with the things you like to draw and with time you're going to be able to use more than one reference picture to come up with your own thing and you can even create your own reference pictures too like let's say you have a cat at home you can take a picture and try to copy that that's gonna help you build your visual memory and it's going to make a huge difference in your drawing skills now that we have our basic lines in we can erase the pencil marks without losing the shape of the cat and also any important details Details. And now it's time for the fun part. We're going to make this cat pop from the paper and look more realistic by adding shadows, more texture, and just contrast and depth. To start, we're gonna make the stripes a little bit darker and the bottom part of the cat, like especially right behind the front legs, you want to create a shadow there to make it seem like it's behind the legs. And we're gonna keep using the same hatching method that we were using before. So you're gonna hatch from top to bottom following the direction of the fur you already drew before and I know this part might sound boring and time consuming but this is what drawing with ink pens require you know my friends I truly believe that the biggest virtue a person needs to be good at drawing is patience because it can get pretty monotonous at times but with the right tv show in the background and if you're like me with the right true crime podcast in the background it doesn't get boring at all if anything it becomes kind of like a relaxing time where you can watch or listen to something while you're being productive and just improving your drawing skills right anyway at this point i'm kind of babbling around because again this part took the most amount of time and i want to show you guys the process but honestly this is basically it guys you just keep hatching focusing on making the stripes darker and the spots underneath the arms darker as well for the face notice that there is a white circle basically all around each eye and right underneath the inner corner of the eye we want to make that spot darker and then grow lighter from there if that makes sense now for the ears we have a bunch of white hairs coming out from inside of the ear and the way to draw white hairs is to always move from shadow to light so you're basically gonna draw the shadows behind the white hairs you know what i mean so we have a really dark spot that's the inside of the ear and we're just gonna hatch like this from the dark spot out in the direction of the hairs and then a little bit on the outside edge of the ear towards inside like this so we're basically basically drawing the shadows behind the hairs from both sides of the hairs. Here I'm also gonna make the hairs that are right under the chin like the 
neck and or chest area a little bit darker too to create some depth and make the head look like it's a little bit forward in relation to the rest of the body and this is important so that the head is not like merged with the neck and it's not all just one big thing also make sure you leave a lighter area where the whiskers come from and you can also add these little lines of dots like this just make sure that the dots closer to the nose are larger and then they get smaller as they move out to the sides and now for the eyes if you don't have a white gel pen you want to mark the eye sparkle with a pencil and then leave some white spots for the sparkle because this is gonna make the drawing so much more realistic trust me to be honest this is the most important part so make sure you leave a sparkle in the eye that's super 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 important if you do have a white gel pen like me you can just paint this V shape all black inside of the eye and then we can do the sparkle later I also like to do some stippling inside of the eye to make it seem more round and not too flat so you basically just draw a bunch of little dots and try to make it darker so like you're just gonna add more dots right under the top of the eye where the eyelid is supposed to be do cats have eyelids I mean I know they close their eyes to sleep so I guess that's an eyelid I don't know you see what I'm doing right it's just like right underneath the eyelid <laughs> Just keep making dots like this and look how it's starting to look so much more realistic. I love it so much. Now we need to finish the tail, which same thing we're already doing with the hatching. Just make sure that the lines are moving from the invisible base of the tail, which we can't see in the drawing because it's coming from behind the cat, towards the tip or the end of the tail like this. So the lines in this case are basically horizontal because they are coming from behind the cat towards the tip of the tail. And to finish our beautiful cat, we are going to use the white gel pen to add some extra details but as you can see this is very optional because it already looks super pretty right like it really looks like a cat but if you do have a white gel pen you can do some whiskers which I honestly think this pen is too thick for that like look the, the whiskers look way too thick so ideally the whiskers would be thinner but I'm struggling to find a white gel pen with a thinner tip guys if you know of a brand or something let me know in the comments because I would love to get my hands on that but this one's going to do the job for now there's also two whiskers that come out from the top of the eyes which now thinking would this be the eyebrows you know i don't know if kitties have eyebrows but if you're confused where to put the whiskers it's basically where the eyebrows would be if cat's head eyebrows and because i'm horrible at finishing drawings and i want them to last forever i'm also going to intensify some light spots but i honestly didn't really like this because the tip is not thin enough so the cat's hairs are super thin and then these light spots are like thicker if you look at clothes it looks bad so it's not looking so good but i ended up using the ink pen again to fix that and just go over some of the white gel pen so again the white gel pen like it helps you fix little mistakes so if you find that there's a spot in your cat that you found it ended up being too dark or something you can do some lines with the white gel pen and then when it's dry the ink pen goes over the white super well so yeah it's kind of like an eraser for pens it's it works fine i think this kind of looks done i hope you like this video and hopefully you learned something new and if you want to support me and see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments other things you want me to draw and also if you like this video or if you hated this video and you think this tutorial sucked and you learned nothing please let me know in the comments as well anyway i hope to see you next time bye